Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, golden. Golden, golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow them golden 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 things gold hair gold rings Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name's Alyssa. My son Reese is one year old, and today we're talking about what is inside his Easter basket. As you can tell, I definitely go a little bit overboard. The Easter Bunny was very generous when I was growing up, so I love continuing that tradition with my son. But don't feel like you always have to go overboard with Easter baskets. You can totally make do with what's in the Target dollar spot or even the dollar store. There's a lot of great affordable options. I've been accumulating all these things over the course of a month or so, and I've kind of just compiled them with the Easter basket in mind. So I'll link everything I can down below. I definitely enjoy practical gifts. So you'll kind of notice that trend throughout, but let's just jump right into it. So in terms of the actual basket itself, it's from TJ Maxx. It's the same basket I used when I did his Valentine's Day basket. I specifically got a nice neutral basket. That way I could continue to use it for a bunch of different holidays. The only addition to the basket is this little wooden name sign I got off of Etsy that just kind of dangles there and looks super cute. So just starting from the outside and working my way in, I got these three little wooden Easter themed cars. They were $3.50 each and I got them from Walmart. So I thought that these were just super cute, super functional in terms of a gift that he can continue to use even past the actual holiday itself. And y'all know I love wooden toys. So these seemed like a steal in my opinion. Like, look how cute this one is. It's a little carrot and a bunny, like, oh. So cute. So I got these and just kind of scattered them about the basket. I got Reese his own little pair of sunglasses. My parents have a pool and we plan to go camping into the beach this summer. So these will definitely be useful. They're the right size for sure. They're like the perfect toddler size sunglasses. Cause I know a lot of times sunglasses can be a little large even if they're claimed to be toddler ones. And they do have like a little strap that you can add in the back. So you can hook it onto the back of the baby's head. That way he won't pull them off. And these were right on Amazon for I think right around $10. So they were very affordable. So just a pair of sunglasses glasses. The next thing in the basket is this little mushy snack cup. This one does not have a removable lid. If you saw my last essentials video, I think I talked about it in that one where Reese had discovered with his previous snack cup that you could take off the lid and just chuck the snacks everywhere. So this one, no lid could be removed and hopefully we'll do a better job at keeping the snacks inside. For Reese's birthday, he did get a play kitchen. So I went ahead and got some wooded Easter eggs. These will be super cute to actually play with in the kitchen, but I feel like they fit the theme. So I kind of just withheld these from giving it on his actual birthday. So just a set of six little wooden Easter eggs. I also got him a little animal themed bath book. He only has one right now, but he really does like chewing on it in the tub. And I felt like it was like springy and kind of fit that Eastery vibe. So I went ahead and put that in there. Funny story about this one, actually. So this was like right on my alley. You guys know I love textures and I love neutrals. And when I found this at TJ Maxx in the baby section, I was like freaking out. It was like $5. It's <laughs> weeks. It's got crinkles in its arms. It's got this cool texture to it. And it's like the best thing ever. I was so excited about it. And I get home to show Dakota my little haul. And you know what I see on the tag? Dog toy. I got my son a dog toy for Easter. And I was like, well, this is awkward, but you know what? I'm still gonna give it to him and I guarantee he will love it. So maybe dog toys is like the way to go, but that was definitely a mistake on my part. But um, I think he'll like it either way. Next, you'll probably notice in the basket, I don't have any candy and I'm not a crunchy mom that like doesn't believe in candy. It's just Reese turned a year old a week ago. So he's just not like fully into candy yet. As he gets older, I'll definitely be putting candy in his baskets, but I did find Easter pasta at Aldi. 
It just has a bunch of bunnies and Easter eggs on it. And so I figured that since he does eat pasta pretty regularly, it'll kind of supplement like the candy spot that would typically go in the basket. And I think that he'll really enjoy this. It's definitely like a practical gift for sure. Next, I got Reese a little wooden name puzzle. This is something I've been wanting to get him for a while and I finally did it, but I got it right off from a little Etsy shop and it took a while to come in, like almost two to three weeks, but it's cause it's not made in the United States. And I did pay like the five extra dollars. So it has like a little wooden stand so I can prop it up on his toy shelf but it could also work for decor in the future so it's definitely multifunctional as aside from just being a toy so super happy that I got this I got Reese a little sun hat as well it has the adjustable strap under the neck and then in the back too this is right off of Amazon and I think that it'll work out great in the pool this summer I did sneak Reese a little Peter Rabbit. I definitely try and to some degree steer away from stuffed animals. I know I already talked about my dog toy duck, but my sister said that we should get this when we were at Walmart. So just like a little cute bunny for him to have. I love the idea of having bathing suits in Easter baskets. It definitely just kind of gets you ready for spring and summer. So I got Reese a couple. Yes, I'm that mom that gets multiple bathing suits, but these two are from Target. It's a gray one and then like a salmon color striped ones. These were $10 a piece. And then this one is my absolute favorite. It's from Amazon and it's a really comfortable material. Like it's definitely stretchier compared to this one, which seems a little bit more stiff. This one even has a cute little pocket on the butt, but this is from Amazon and I'm obsessed. I can't wait for him to wear this. And then I also got Reese like a rash guard. It's a long sleeve one and it fully zips down. So you don't have to worry about trying to get it over or off his head when he's wet and it's hot and sweaty. And the good thing is like these will match all of the bathing suits so i just got white because it's a very good staple color to have and you don't have to worry about matching up tops and bottom just grab your rash card and eddie bathing suit and we can just hit the road so i got two of these i also got reese this cute little white t-shirt it has a little smiley face on it and then it just has like a yellow trim on the edge. So I feel like this is just a really lightweight, cute t-shirt and it was only $7. So couldn't beat this. I love books. I don't think you can ever have too many books. I think books are like, great gifts to give so I definitely went a little overboard but some of them were thrifted some of them I bought so this one is Thumper's Furry Friends I got this from Walmart and the reason I got this one is because it's like a touch and feel book and Reese is really into books and really into touching and feeling things lately so I think he'll really like this one this is from TJ Maxx it's Where's the Chick I had a similar one to this for Christmas it was a Santa book and so I went and got the spring edition to this and I think it'll just be super cute and I think that he'll really enjoy it so there's a little chicken there this one I thrifted it was actually like five cents or something super cheap but it's just like traditional fables and it's like you know the tortoise and the hare so I think that was cute this one my local library was just like discarding books you know like they sometimes will leave them on a shelf for someone to just take home for free so I snagged this up it's the alphabet book down in the garden so like eggs and it's all realistic pictures but they all have like babies in them like real children so I just think it's super cute and super funny that they're all just so stinking adorable and then this one as well I think was Walmart but I'm not sure another touch and feel book as well again this one has like a lot of furry animals in it and I think that he'll really like this and then the last thing is just a custom name blanket. It says Reese Michael. I got this from a small shop from Etsy. She was super nice and willing to make some color changes for me. Um, I definitely love this shade of beige, but I don't think you'll be able to tell on camera, but part of the shade over here kind of just has like a greenish hue, which isn't my favorite, but it is what it is. So I went ahead and just put that in his basket. He obviously doesn't sleep with blankets yet, but I think one day it'll be really cute to kind of just have and to cuddle with at night. So that's the blanket and that pretty much does it guys like I said you don't have to go overboard but you can always go ahead and get practical items to put in there that you know you're gonna have to get later on down the line anyways I hope that this was helpful for you if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in my next video bye